joined by Jonathan Dunn. The of Leopard Pig? Uh, RB Light Pig. Light Pig. Not RB Leipzig. It's RB Light Pig. The, the kit game here is very, very strong. Uh, some of us take it very seriously. Yeah. Mm. I, um, I, I designed the badge for my last team, which was Jaffa Kicks. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And that was... Uh, uh, Chris spoke very highly of the Jaffa kick. Yeah, he was a fellow Jaffa. Jaffa's a good man. <laughs> it, was a good, it was a good lot. It was a good lot. Yeah, and some of us, uh, especially our captain, he takes it very seriously. Um, he's ordering like jackets and away kits and caps. Oh, he's even got he's no. got he's got like a mini kit for his kid. And who's your captain? Rob. Rob. Oh, he's, he's wonderful. Oh, I, 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 no. Away kits. Yeah, you know what? The away kit kit thing came from last season playing for Jaffa's because I'm colour blind, mm. and so I had a bit of a tr issue with like some of the colour clashes. Um, so I, I mean, Rob just wanted it as an opportunity. I think he's like, oh well, if we need to get a. Uh, and awake it then sure so we got this like dark blue paisley print thing it was it was beautiful <laughs> i'd love to see it, it i beautiful. saw the java kit, kit but yeah i haven't seen that one <laughs> we're on color blindness day today uh, day it is recording. it is and also the fixtures tonight were red v oranges and brown v greens someone's having a laugh i there. think so someone's having a laugh. it wasn't me honestly <laughs> honestly the red the red v oranges tonight i could not tell there's one one guy in a bright like like light orange kit, I could spot him, but everybody else just looked the same. Really? Yeah. Wow. I mean, not wow. So I guess that's become like your day to day, right? Living with yeah. that sort of yeah. thing. Yeah, I just find a way around it most of the time. Anyway. Does that ever impact when you're filming? Uh, it, it, you'd be surprised how little it does because so much of like um, color work in film and design and stuff is down to just like numbers and graphs like you mm. don't necessarily do it from sight like you know what looks nice together but then it's also like well i know if i'm working with a specific brand or something like that they've got their colors all picked out so i know i'm using the right colors even if you put a gun to my head and said is that blue or purple i couldn't <laughs> might not be able to tell you yeah, but i know yeah, it's yeah. whatever it is it's the right color yeah um sure. but then yeah there are times when i i do outsource like for if a, if a film i'm making is going to be shown in the cinema i'm definitely outsourcing the color grading to somebody else really? and that's happened that you've had films shown in cinemas yeah there's a bit like of festivals and stuff like that oh, wow. so there's been like cinema screenings of things so that's that's nice but yeah and I always have like my lighting assistants and stuff like that on the day will do the color balancing for me on the cameras. So I know that at least I'm not, I mean, I, you know, I'm not, the thing is I'm colorblind, but I'm not, I'm not an idiot. Yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah. I can get it roughly right to sure. the point where I go, if this is slightly wrong, I know I can fix it in post. Mm. Wow. <laughs> but, yeah. That's fascinating. So let's talk about Fat Club. Yeah. Um, what was it that brought you along to, to Man Be Fat in the beginning? Being fat. Um, was the main thing. Um, a good, wasn't, good driver. It is, yeah. Like I wasn't massively fat, but I was like, you know, I I wasn't happy with 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 my weight. Um, I also really wasn't happy with my fitness. Just mm. had uh, a little uh, little daughter, and I was like, she was so even from like day dot even before day dot she was like always so active, and I was like, I'm not going to be able to keep up with her unless I get myself fit mm. and like there's so much fitness stuff it, i just find so boring and i i'd play football every day if i could or i play squash or like a, a sport i enjoy i play every day but like going for a run going for a walk going to the gym stuff like that i just was like i just can't do this and then i got a brilliant targeted ad on instagram and i saw man be fat and i was like this actually looks like as long as everybody there isn't awful awful people mm. then i'm like I reckon that's the sort of setup. I think that could really work for me. A good get... brand name. Good brand name. So yeah, so yeah, absolutely. I thought, okay, yeah, this this sounds this sounds good. And I was I was nervous as hell on my first day because I was like, I didn't know anyone, um, and I, Stan wasn't even there on the first on my first day. So I just sort of went into. I didn't even know really what room I was going into here. Mm. I was just going in. It was just like, Ugh. and then yeah, sort of down my team and then it was only a few weeks after that that there was the big reshuffle and everything and then yeah but I've, I've, yeah everyone's been fantastic and it's just been it's been brilliant i love it what was the goal when you did you have like a number goal in mind when i was making you little girl yeah i mean so i mean general fitness was always the more important thing than the weight loss because i wasn't like i said i wasn't massively overweight but i wanted to get fit and obviously i did want to lose weight i wanted to fit back into medium sized clothes again because i had a nice shirts that i didn't fit into anymore um things like that um and 
Um, and I've still got a goal in mind of like the, my target weight that I want to get to. Um, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm significantly closer to it than, yeah. you know, there's only, yeah, I've, I've just it's been a very nice, slow, steady weight loss throughout the whole thing. So I'm, yeah, I'm going to keep going until I get, I get that and then probably keep going because the accountability is so important. Of course, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we spoke about it with Christian. Um, do you go by Chris normally? Yeah. Big Chris. And he was saying about his BMI, yeah. his BMI boss. So earlier today, but maybe a few weeks ago for the channel. And um, I was talking about maintaining your weight. Something that's really big, right, in the journey, a really big part of that is at the end sticking to it. Yeah. We don't talk about that uh, because there's not really a call for it, but it's rarely mentioned because the boys are still on that journey. Yeah. Where are you in terms of where you want to be versus that weight and how how important is sort of that maintenance piece uh, at this stage? Well, so I had a little bit of a... um, So at the end of... uh, so I'd lost about 15 kilos mm-hmm. um, since I started. Um, and then at the end of last season, I decided to, to stop um, because I was getting injured quite a bit. And right. I was like, I'm fairly happy with my weight. Um, but also, you know, I'm, I just I, I can't afford to keep getting injured and, yeah, cool. and, and all of this sort of stuff. So I thought, I'll, I'll, I'll knock it on the head. Um, but then only a, a couple of... It, less than a month later i was just like i can't i need i need to go back and it wasn't because like my habits had my habits had slipped or anything like that because my weight was pretty constant but i don't know there's something about like if just being aware of what you're eating like just more mindfully even if you're not tracking it um or like actively you're trying to eat healthy or anything like that because when you're obviously part of this, like you've always got to keep an eye on that and you've got to track and you've got to, you know, just be, just be mindful of yeah, it. Yeah. Just, without having that, I just found there would just started to be just a real lack of structure and discipline to what I was eating. And I probably wasn't eating very well, not necessarily binging or anything like that, but it was just like, I don't know. It just, yeah, it was just really, I just, I just, ne- I needed a bit of structure and a bit of accountability just to, you know, stop myself from, going downhill you know i reckon if another another couple of months and i probably would have ended up starting resorting being like oh, i'll just have a pizza i'll just do that you know i'll just go take away yeah, yeah you know so i was like no i'm gonna get back and you know make sure make sure i don't uh yeah i don't slip have you taken any steps to sort of combat the injury injury thing yeah i mean there's i think i think there's a bit of a common uh there's a bit of a common thing with with guys who are a bit smaller not just like you know the ones who have um, who are like not as heavy, but just like generally as small. I'm not. I'm not a big, big guy. Um, you, you are going to get pushed around a fair bit because some of these guys are. <laughs> big boys. <laughs> they're big. They're big. And like, if you're going to put in a tackle on somebody who's like twice my size, it needs to be a heavy tackle. If you put that same tackle in on me, I'm I'm going absolutely flying. You mm. know. Um, and so it was. It was something that I sort of raised and said, look, I you know. A fair tackle is could it, and there was a you know like it came on the back of an incident where I was like it was a, it was a totally fair tackle on me and I was I was, and I, I yeah I really 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 uh, injured my wrists um, and I'm like what do I what do I do money makers you well. know yeah and it's yeah and it's like I was like uh, I you know that's a fair tackle and yeah I'm injured so what can we do and. Um, and just talking with like Stan and and Bish, the ref, it was like actually, yeah, all right, we'll be a bit more mindful of that and just sort of keep an eye on it. Um, that's the main thing, really, um, because I don't want to not, I don't want to not play. I don't want to take it easy. I want to be, you know, but also, you know, but most people play. Most people play. I mean, in fact, everybody playing. Nobody wants to injure anybody, no, you know. Um, and at the end of the day, if if I'm going into something. And even for a split second, I think oh, this is going to hurt. I'll probably just back out because mm. <laughs> it's not worth. Well, it, no, no, quite right. Yeah, yeah. You know. I'm not here for that. No, exactly. If it was but, a leisure league, it'd be a different thing. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd be. I'd, I'd have knives on my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I'd take no prisoners. You're that kind of player. I would. Yeah. I'd knuckle dusters. <laughs> Uh, a mace. It's currently a Yeah, full suit of um, armor as well. The nation's yeah. capital. Yeah, yeah. Tell me, um, 
have you got any particularly favorite moments or sort of standout points in the journey that you think yeah that was that was a good moment or something you could have done otherwise uh yeah i mean there's uh, there's been several i mean hitting like the milestones was really really good especially the i hit the 15 percent um and i was like that was that was something i was like because after a while like you do sort of plateau especially if like i wasn't i said i wasn't massively heavy anyway i'd lost about sort of 10 11 kilos and then i was like i was really like it was granular progress and then to finally hit that 15 percent was like yeah all right yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm i'm like i'm in charge <laughs> that's what it felt like you know um but then also just like just getting better at football like i always i always played football but then i hadn't played for properly for years but when mm. i started and I sort of foolishly thought, I mean, the last time I played, I was probably like in my uh, mid twenties. Now I'm in my mid thirties, mm -hmm. and uh, I thought, oh, I'll just start playing again. I'll probably be as good as I was, won't I? Not, not a chance. Absolutely terrible. Like, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> terrible. No fitness. Like, I make, I might be able to run and get the ball, but then I'd use up all my energy. So my feet turned to jelly. I couldn't shoot. I couldn't do anything. Nothing else. So getting to that point where I was like, actually, I don't. Like, I don't feel like I let the team down. That was like phase one. I'm like, great, I've got to that point. Now let's see if I can contribute, you know? And then I think one of the first times I got like a man of the match or something like that, being like, yeah, okay, I'm, again, like, I'm, yeah, I've got this, Don't you know? And there was also a game last season I scored six goals and that was absolutely <laughs> outstanding. And it was one of the ones that was being filmed as well. Really? Oh, so that's it. I love it when that story Oh, it was happens. the best. It's, it was so good. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. I feel like we could you know, chat chat for much longer, particularly about what you do for a living. So it's really interesting. What about yourself? I'm a professional filmmaker. It was at this moment that he knew. Wow. Okay. Brilliant. Yeah. What, have I, would I have seen anything that you've done? Uh, I, probably not. I, I don't really like... I tried working in the industry when I got out of film school, um, but I just didn't. I, I just didn't like the way the industry works. So I thought I just, I want to make films. And I want to work with good people and I want to work in a way that I'm happy with. So I just kept working and taking on freelance gigs until I was in the position where I could sort of dictate a little bit of the sort of thing I want to do. So I now, mm. I do, I've fallen into a bit of a niche doing films for dance companies and, and oh, making okay. dance films, which I have no interest in at all. But it turned out, I really love it. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Um, that sounds like one of the more complicated things you could film. It's, yeah, it's, dance, it's, 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 the it's the creative challenge of, of it because, like, dancers always look amazing. They move, they look amazing. The mm. lighting's amazing. The costume's amazing. So all I need to do is, like, point a camera at it and it's going to look good, which means that I can do, like, so much. I can really push myself experimentally, being like, oh, you know, and I saw you would choreograph myself into the routine and stuff and getting really dynamic things because I know that whatever I shoot is going to look great. Yeah, okay, yeah. Then, um, it's, yeah, it's, it have a lot more creative freedom. I love it. So, yeah. Um, yeah, made a few short films and, um, yeah, what, I'm just, at the moment I'm just working on application. It's application season at the moment. Right. Deadline's coming up in the next couple of weeks. So I'm applying for a bunch of stuff to do one a feature film and a couple of shorts so we'll see what happens but that sounds really exciting i love it like i absolutely yeah. love it and um but... is that like the non-negotiable goal for you was to do that uh, i think i think so um i think as long as like i remember somebody saying once that like being like happy is is not only doing what you love but it's doing what you love how you ha like it's doing what you want how you want to do it mm. um and so as long as i was doing working in a way that i was happy with and i wasn't you know kind of uh you know too stressed out or taking the mick out of people or sort of getting caught up in that hierarchy of the industry and and all of that politics and treating people like rubbish and and stuff like that and i was like if i'm doing that then and i'm doing what i like and i've got creative input in things then i'm yeah, I'm happy, and then I can, you know, use that time and that money then to put towards stuff that I'm even more invested in, and then r rinse and repeat until I'm, you know, doing most like 99% these days stuff that I really want to do, you know, mm -hmm. as opposed to just taking stuff because it's money. Yeah, yeah, which is a bit soul destroying. But you know, I'm 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 fortunate to have got to the point here, but also it's taken you know a lot of a lot of time and a lot of work and stuff. So, um, but yeah.
Good though. I love it. Probably live all that in, to be honest, because that, that's, <laughs> that's real passionate stuff. I mean, it's not it's not taking your phone to a dance studio and <laughs> no, hey, I've, but... yeah, I've 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 been caught in a pinch before and ended up shooting stuff on my phone. Mm. And like, it's it's never about never. You can make a film on a phone. Like, you can do mm. as long as you're telling a good story and capturing it and telling it right. You can you can shoot it on a you know Game Boy. Again, that's the, that, that is that is a non-negotiable. That's, that's what I want to. That's what I want to do. That's what I really want to do. Of gold. Yeah, Game Boy camera feature. Uh, <laughs> is there anything? Is there anything else worth mentioning about your journey that we should we should know about? Or if there was a piece of advice you'd give to someone about to start theirs? Um, I def- definitely say like y- you should just you should just do it. Like just join, come along, meet the people. Like I was so so surprised at how uh, like welcoming and non-judgmental the whole thing was um because everybody's in it for the same reason you know there's no ego uh people genuinely want to support you and want to help you get better like Mm. nobody like if if uh everybody's like will always be like hands up if they're like making a mistake or they go i'm not very good at this and they want to get better and like so yeah i just just come along and get involved because it's so good um like i've made so many good friends as well I've been to, you know, weddings of these guys now. I've only been here a year. Yeah. And it's like, these are great. I love it. You know, this is, this is great. I heard a dirty rumour that you play futsal. Yes. What's that like? Futsal, you know what? Because it always uh, stimulates me. Yeah. The pace and the, the size of the goals and it's, the misspelling uh, of football. It's it, it was a lot harder, harder work than I thought it would be. Like, the mm. ball is slightly smaller and it's a bit heavier. So it doesn't really bounce. So it's... And because um, because you're playing on a hard surface, because you're indoors, it moves. It just doesn't. There's no friction. It seems yeah. so. It almost feels at times like the ball's accelerating when it's going along the ground, and okay. it just doesn't. Like everything, everything moves just a bit different to how you expect it. Mm. So like the first half hour, I, first half hour I played, like I, uh, I I was just tripping over my feet. I was scuffing shots. I was everything because it was like even the. But where I was wearing trainers, not boots, and you're on a hard surface, and all's a bit different. It doesn't, you can't anticipate it and everything. Um, but after you get used to how it sort of moves and you can anticipate it, it's it's really good. It's it's really intense. It's a lot of running, a lot of sweating, yeah. and that's coming from this absolute so- <laughs> from a sweaty, this, a soggy ham. Uh, <laughs> sat here. Uh, I've just played two games back to back, but futsal is even like I, I had wore my. Um, uh, Apple Watch to play the other day, and I did over like five k, like playing really? for like an hour. Um, it's Jeez. just, it's just really good fun. It's really good fun. Yeah, it sounds really intense. It is intense. It is intense. But again, it's good fun. It's it, like the, the, I think one of the designs of it is it designs the design is to help you, encourage you sort of do more sort of uh, skillful type mm. stuff. So and then nobody plays. Obviously, we're we're, we're not great football players you know some there's some really good players but every so we're just having a laugh it's yeah. really fun you've got to try it you know you've got to try something mm. something cool something skillful if you pull it off it looks amazing <laughs> um, yeah, and if imagine. not you're just the same as everyone else <laughs> thank you so much for your time i really really appreciate pleasure it. Take care.